three seconds. That's all I have to catch your attention and hope you stay. The problem? I don't know how to do that. Welcome to Late Night with Sarah. This is episode two. We're going to be talking about 2023 winter fashion trends. This is your host, Sarah, and thank you so much for coming back. If you're coming back from the first episode, it's been amazing how you guys have been listening to it and all of the support that I have received so far. So um, in the clouds, literally very, very happy for all of the support that we received on the first episode. And I'm very excited to bring another one full of knowledge. I did a lot of research and just overall looking what's actually going to be trendy this winter and things that you can use on yourself if you are looking to invest or if you're looking just to ramp up your wardrobe for the winter season, Um, at least for me. I live in Florida, so I don't have an actual winter with the snow, but I have lived in places that do have a snow. So I know how difficult it can be to wake up in the morning and put up a cute outfit. So take this as your inspiration. I even created a Pinterest board with a ton of outfit inspo that is very practical, very easy to recreate. And I just had a lot of fun doing this. So I really hope that you guys have as much fun as I do listening to this episode. So let's get started. So I was mentioning, we're going to be talking about 2023 winter trend predictions. And these are things that you actually wear. I know that many times some fashion trends and just in the fashion world in general, there are so many trends that are just not doable or practical whatsoever. So I really scatter all around the internet, the magazines, all of those uh, fashion connoisseurs, Pinterest and YouTube, and just collected all of the things that I've been seeing that we can actually use in our everyday basis for winter also i created a pinterest board with all of the inspo it's in at lena with sarah on pinterest so you can find all of the fashion trends and outfits for reference if you are watching this on youtube i'm gonna be putting up a couple of images to go along the trends but if you're just listening to the podcast then i'm gonna do my best to explain what i mean i think i'm pretty good at it So just be aware, if you want visuals, go to YouTube, go to Pinterest. Um, Okay, so what are the hot trends for winter 2023 and obviously going into 2024? First, the one that I've seen a lot is blues. I know that there is like a hot trend for pink, for red. Pink was mostly for the Barbie movie, in my opinion, with those type of colors get really, really big, like we're seeing right now. Um, Usually it will go the opposite side for the next season. So because on fall we saw so much red, I've been seeing a lot of blues popping up in my explore page. In all of those fashion trends articles that I've been reading, there is a lot of blues. Um, So it's pretty funny. You can still incorporate red and pink and they match very nicely with blues, but uh, that's just what I've been seeing. So if you're looking to invest or bring out your favorite sweater, you can, you know, get inspired with some blue outfits. Um, Okay, so I also been seeing that blue can be used as an accent color. There is a lot of very beautiful blue scarves that I've been seeing going around from different brands, different stores, and it's all popping up in my Pinterest feed. I don't know if it's just me because I do like blue (laughs) or if it's everywhere, but there is like this, it's like a true blue. I don't know how to explain it. It's like the blue in the sky. Um, So I guess a sky blue scarf and also purses. And they look so, so good with all of the other colors like red and also black and gray that are other kind of colors that are popping up a lot. So just having those accent colors either in blue or in red are super trendy for the season, which I love because blue, it is indeed my favorite color. (laughs) 
So for the next one, we have textures. Textures. I don't mind my accent. If you're listening to this, just don't mind it, okay? We can we can just live life. <laughs> but textures, I see a lot of furry, fussy, um, just those like knitting, you know, um, in jackets and accessories. I also see a lot of like fluffy purses. Obviously, the earmuffs, really, really cute hats that have a lot of texture and coats. Oh, my goodness. All of the coats that I've been seeing in all of these fashion publications and also in Pinterest, they're stunning. I think it's a mix of 70s fashion, like early 70s, really touching into 60s, 70s, um, but mixing it with, I don't know, just like sensory textures if that makes sense um you know a lot of fluffiness and this is things that i think are very popular for winter because in winter we use so many layers but it's just like all of these random textures like there is this one that looks like a poodle <laughs> so it's it's like a yeah it's like a poodle texture i don't know how to explain it very well but just imagine that Capuro and it comes in different. Oh, it's called Sherpa. <laughs> it's called Sherpa. It comes in like, I've seen it in bags, in jackets, also in vests as well. And they look so, so cute. So anything texture, make sure to bring out those because not only wearing one for the full outfit, but mixing them out. It's so much fun. I really like that. The next one we see are baggy jeans and PJ pants. This is another favorite of mine because ever since I was in high school, I loved wearing pajama style clothing overall and taking them out in the world. Like a lot of friends used to make fun of me because they would say that I would work pajamas outside. And look at it now, five years. It's a five years, probably stand by now. Five years later, it's very trendy. All of these Scandinavian girlies are wearing their pajama pants outside, so we all now doing it for winter. Um, for the jeans, we've seen a lot of call like balloon style jeans. So it's very wide. It's imagine a mix of a mom jean with a boyfriend jean. So it's very um, open, but also it's inches a little bit on the waist and it's pretty cool kind of pants because it feels comfortable you can layer under the pant very comfortably and also wear your boots so you'll be warm you're gonna be warm and you're gonna be chic very chic with this kind of pants i love it i'm gonna be putting a couple of examples in the screen if you're watching it and if you're not just think big baggy pants because that one is a pretty cool one then we have comfy chic which i guess it goes hand in hand with the pajama pants trend because i've been seeing a lot of this like lunch wear but making it chic you know so you have your cute sweater maybe the boxer shorts are pretty big i've seen and just wearing like fancy purses you know like imagine sharp edges on your purse or also square toe ballet flats or pointed toe ballet flats all of those are so cool to mix with this kind of outfits because they're very unexpected like usually with a pajama pants let's say you will wear an ugg and maybe a cute oversized sweater and a tote bag well now for winter you can do the pajama pants, the oversized sweater, and a ballet flat. Oh, unexpected, but really fun. And then for the purse, you can do kind of like a leather square purse. And that will make it so, so nice. I also been seeing a lot of these, they call it like ba bagu bags or something like that. And they are like on a slouchy big bag. Those are pretty cool as well. And I don't know, it kind of elevates the outfit a little bit. And for winter, 
I know that depending on where you live, it may be difficult to layer and still be warm. But with this kind of outfit, you can dress, you know, super, super comfy, warm, but with the accessories be super chic. So I really like this trend. It's definitely up my alley. I'm not a fan of just chic like minimal outfits <laughs> i want to be comfy i want to be warm so i'm a big fan of this one so next one we have the goth edgy mix with soft feminine styles so i really really like this one because i've been seeing a lot of mix and matching these past few seasons like you know unexpected shoe unexpected pop of colors but now this is taking it to the next level where you're gonna be unexpect unexpected maybe aesthetic matching with another one so in this case we've been seeing a lot of goth edgy you know leather imagine studs there's a lot of studded bags and shoes they are so cool also cute studded jackets um that you can mix and match with maybe like a flowy dress a flowy maxi skirt you can do lace and ruffles oh my gosh i love it so much it's just like the unexpected element makes an outfit so much fun like yeah it is cool to wear le the leather jacket with a t and a jean you know it's gonna be classic it's gonna look good anyways but imagine that with a maxi white skirt that you were wearing for summer. And the cool thing is that for winter, if you have those like heated leggings underneath, you're not only hella comfy, but you're warm. Like it's, it's amazing. I love, I love that kind of style. So you can have, you know, the leather jacket, leather vest. They look so good with the fluffy, big puffy sleeves kind of shirt and a cute denim oh my goodness I love that I love that so there there is a lot of those edgy elements mixed with the soft girl you know ballet core aesthetic and if you mix my mix and match those two I also think that you can reuse a lot of the clothes that you were wearing for fall for summer even for spring and just giving it a new life because I don't believe that clothes have to be for just one season. If you know how to make it work for the next season, you're gonna be wearing it all year round and that's the best you can do for clothing. And we have the black and white or constructing colors. There is a lot of color trends or color related trends in this podcast today because I don't know, for some reason, we kind of neglected the colors for a little while, like with the neutrals, with the minimalism. Then we went all out during the pandemic. But now we're seeing more of specific type of colors, a specific type of mix and matching. And I just think it's the evolution of colors. Like, if anything, it's kind of cool because you can still mix and match the stuff that you have worn the previous years and just putting it in a new life, you know, and making it fun, fresh, and still keep on wearing it. Because that's the idea. You still have fun, but also no overflow your closet. <laughs> Not me saying that. Overflow your closet with just items and keep on buying, you know? Um, so as long as you have like those good quality statement pieces, you can just reuse them different ways and it makes it so much fun um so back to the contracting color contrasting 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 colors black and white i've seen a lot of not only just black and white outfits obviously but i've seen a lot of what i call the merely merit meredith blake type of a style so you know like a black with maybe white on the edges or stripes a lot of stripes on sweaters and just like you know I also there is this sweater that I saw on Pinterest I think I think is from Naked because I saw it on the website as well and I think it's the same one 
that is just big stripes all around the sweater and it's light pink with fuchsia. So you see it's like the same color but just contrasting one with the other is the same with the black and white big stripes but it's just black and white like it's so much fun you know like i feel that for winter we usually go on the muted side and now this winter we're definitely doing more pops of something unexpected something and it just gives you a new life i don't know i'm a big fan of just right now new fun trends and just see how it goes so i really like this one the, not so much the black and white because i'm not a black and white type of girly but i do have a lot of friends that are the neutral girlies and i love how it looks on them for my side i, I would do those and maybe i would lean more into like the stripes you know and do like white and pink ah that's cute oh white and blue i do actually have a sweater that is from Cezanne that it's white and it has big stripes in navy blue navy is a big big color for winter as well and i guess it goes hand in hand with the blue hues and the blue jeans as well so i really like that sweater it's pretty cool and the cool thing about trends as well is that you can make them your own let's say that you don't like color like that you can still do the contrasting black and white or if you don't like neutrals and you really like all the colors you can still do that you know go full and lean on the colors that's the cool thing about trends is that once you make them your own you can create brand new outfits that you didn't even know you could do with your own clothes that you already have or find something new that you love go out in the stores and be like oh my god i love this and you can keep on wearing it for forever that's the idea the next one we have is early 70s style coats standout colors so i was hinting at this a little bit earlier when i was mentioning about the coats because i noticed that right now there is we are gonna be seeing more of the 70s fashion a lot I thought it was going to be way bigger this year because the Daisy Jones TV show came out earlier and the sun is fashion is always it. But I've been noticing that we're getting more towards that. So possibly by next year, we're going to be seeing way more of the sun is fashion. Uh, but for this one, on winter, I've seen a lot of these sun is style coats, you know, the fluffy ones on the trim a lot of leather and suede obviously if you want to go for these kind of trends i would recommend thrifting i would recommend second hand so we don't you know damage the little animals like that um because even the fake ones they're just plastic so it damages the earth <laughs> so either way you choose is not the best but if you want to really go for that look I would definitely say thrifting. It's a great way to find amazing quality coats that are going to last you forever. Like if they had lasted all of these years, they're going to last you way more. So I love these ones because I've seen a lot of, you know, with jean and denim, it's been so big this year. A lot of denim coats and just fun standout colors. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I saw this one on Pinterest that it was like all stripes all the stripes and full of different colors oh wow it was so beautiful obviously not for me but like i love how it looks on so i'm sure that like so many people are gonna love it too and just having those statement codes can make such a basic outfit something else you know if you have let's say the classic you have a sweat pant and a sweatshirt and put on a fussy big coat girl that's gonna be amazing i love that for you <laughs> i hope you do that and send me a picture because that sounds beautiful so we've seen a lot of those in bright colors fun prints different textures as i mentioned the for trend but i also saw this you know the puffer jacket but in a coat oh <gasps> when i saw that i was like i never seen something like that maybe oh well no 
I actually have one, something like that. <laughs> now that I'm thinking. But it was so cool because it looked like a puffer jacket, but it went all the way to her to her feet, I'm pretty sure. And I just think that like, you know, making something fun that you can thrift makes it so special. I love thrifting when it comes to jackets and outerwear, but also you can find brand new ones like from Naked or Cezanne that are high quality. And you know that one day you can either give it to your kids or just give it away and someone else can thrift it. And in 20 years from now, they're gonna be like, oh my God, look at this vintage piece. You know, it's, that's insane, insane to think about, but it do happen like that. And fashion is cyclical. So it's trendy today. It's going to be trendy in 20 years. So get rid of it if you want or keep a hold to your heart until forever. <laughs> okay. Then we have the next one, which is darker colors, deep hues. So as I was mentioning, winter usually we lean more towards neutral colors. But I've seen a lot of just deep hues, even though it's a lot of colorful stuff, it's like jewel tones, almost like this very beautiful emerald green or cherry red. That's a deep hue color. And those for winter are so, so chic because you can match it with everything. They're pretty much become a neutral once they're in a deep hue. So if you have like a dark green jacket, you can literally wear it with anything you can imagine. If you have a red, like a cherry red, burgundy, oh my goodness, yeah. Those kind of colors are very trendy. It kind of reminds me like a grown-up version of Hannah Montana, but like the last season of Hannah Montana. <laughs> if you watch it, you know what I mean with those colors. So imagine like a grown-up version of those. Um, it makes it so much chic and grown-up, but also dynamic, you know? You have the dark denim, dark red, purple, dark gray. I've seen a lot of uh, colors that are stepping away from the beige, the browns, and that kind of style, and more towards like what I would say the cool tones. So like blue, like navy blue green red that kind of uh colors but again the colors are so specific to you depending on your skin tone on your undertone as well at least for me it's very surprising that i'm cool tone instead of warm tone so like grays and blues look good on me but if i was a warm tone um i would still lean into the beige but maybe change it up for a different color I don't know, like a deep chocolate brown. Oof, that that sounds delicious. <laughs> that sounds amazing. So definitely try for those type of colors if you're more into the neutral side. But if not, go all out because I want to see it. I want to see colors this winter. And it's trendy. So it's not just me. It's also publications. <laughs> Next one, we have shorts. I've been seeing it's just not practical to many, very practical to me, because again, Florida, I've been seeing a lot of mini skirt, mini dresses, cropped jackets, it's giving 70s, it's giving 60s, even month style, you know, like with the mini skirts, but it's not like in the Y2K type of mini skirts, it's more like a line creating kind of like a boxy shape i feel that those are very cool as well very flattering on me so um, i may be a little bit biased but i love this trend i've seen a lot of you know mini skirt with sweaters or with jackets like a lot of oversized undone type of outfits but when you make a mini it looks so cute it looks really cute i love a mini skirt with a big sweater and some eyes oh my goodness i'm so ready to go out with an outfit like that because it doesn't get that cold in here like the coolest is gonna get is maybe 50 like today was the 60s and i was wearing wearing a full-on jacket because <laughs> i cannot handle the cold like that but i really really like it how basically it looks on people overall i feel that it's very flattering on a lot of 
body types and also styles and if you live in a warmer place you can definitely go for that if not stay with the oversized pants and oversized tees and jackets because i feel that it still creates that boxy shape that i don't know it's just it's trendy but it's also pretty cool because it's very practical. You're gonna, you're always gonna be comfy in something like that because <laughs> you're not thinking about much. How am I gonna look sitting? How am I gonna look standing? Like we all think that, and we have to be honest. We all think that, and I do think that a lot. So when I'm wearing something like that, I don't think about those things, and it makes me so much happier. Another big, big trend that I've been seeing is belts belts on jackets big belts with dresses with skirts there is this outfit that comes into mind that is a maxi skirt with a big belt maybe a long sleeve oh my goodness it's so good it's kind of giving like hippie vibes again it's a lot of sadness fashion but just making it 2023 you know uh, because these belts are pretty big and chunky you're gonna see a lot in my pinterest once you go in there um, but they're pretty cool because if you have a jacket that maybe you don't wear that often or a trench coat you can just put on a belt and it creates this silhouette that looks so like high fashion that oh my goodness you're gonna be thriving and it's super affordable like if you go to the thrift store you're gonna find so many cool edgy belts for so cheap like ah uh, yes yeah i love this trend because so simple but yet so useful <laughs> another big one is balloon wise sleeves so if you're watching the video you will see i have the big sleeves right now with my sweater this one is pretty cool as well because i feel that just like high level view at these trends it's a lot of oversized a lot of just comfy cozy items that are gonna make you feel just comfortable all around and these big flowy um sleeves just i don't know like it creates this these like boxy balloon style shapes and they're just cute they're just really cute and i've seen a lot of in the sweaters i've seen it on jackets as well and the jackets looks pretty cool on dresses there is a lot of just off the shoulder sweater dresses that have the big sleeves oh my goodness they look so good and when you have those like bell bottoms or kind of like those kind of shapes i feel that it creates such a beautiful line in the body and you can just you know like these little details i know they may sound silly but like once you start noticing them in the clothes that you have you're gonna see that your outfits are gonna start making more sense in a way because it's like oh that's why it looks so good on that girl on pinterest is because she has these little details when she's creating the lines on her outfits the colors the it's just like the little things and the good thing about that too is that you can make it your own with the stuff that you already have but if you're looking to buy at least you know what kind of things to buy what kind of things to look for so you're more intentional at time of buying and once you wear it it's like i love how it looks on me wow you know so it's all in the little details and i love to see that another thing and last fashion trend it's boots all boots all of the boots that you will ever need in your life take them out of your closet and wear them <laughs> because literally all of the shoes that i keep seeing over and over again are boots like for example with uggs the platform i want to say it's mini mini uggs boots those are ones that are very trendy last year was the tasman and this year is definitely the mini mini ultra boots those are really cute i really like them i actually got kind of like a dupe from nordstrom and they're way better than a dupe at least for me because i don't get snow i get a lot of rain and uggs are not waterproof but these ones are because these are actual like winter 
waterproof boots and I love them. Oh my goodness, I wear them all the time. I even wear it for the office with some trousers and this sweater that I have right now from another love. And it was such a vibe because it was raining and my boots were not damaged. I was so comfy and cozy. I love boots. I always love boots, actually. I have so, so many. Cowboy boots are still a thing. I know a couple people are saying that they may be out because the motor boots are in. But a good boot will never go out of style. And during winter time, like with big socks onto your knees and boots, like that's literally so perfect for winter. <laughs> like, even if it is out of style, please don't be silly and keep on wearing your boots. I have a couple of cowboy boots. I have a red one, brown and black. Like it's brown at the top and black at the bottom. I have a black boot. These are all knee, knee high. Um, because I feel it's more flattering my body type. And I feel that like for boots, also you have to look at what kind of shape you wanna create. But I would definitely say that knee high boots are just like the way to go if you're still shopping for those because they are pretty much, I don't like to say timeless, but they've been trendy for a while. Like they are the go-to for a while. Um, I have also another pair in cream. I think I was going to get one in blue and I don't know what happened, but I really like, you know, a really good statement boots because it just elevates your outfit. It makes it so much fun if you're wearing the mini skirts as one of the trends and the big slouchy type of sweater with an Ugg boot or um, with a knee high sock and boot. Oh, that's amazing. And you're going to be warm because even though you're wearing a skirt, like if it's still not snowing outside, I think that you can get away with it. Like the boot and the sock is really covering you up most of your leg. And you have the sweater, put something under the sweater and a jacket. And that's an outfit. That's an outfit right there. You're going to be warm and you're going to look good. And that's what matters once you start. But once you start finding like your outfit formula, like your go-tos, it's going to make it so much easier. I, I promise you. That's my promise to you. So yeah, those are the main trends that I've been seeing online. I went kind of fast, I feel like. At the beginning, I felt like I was running. And I forget that podcasts are more chill and like longer form. But I just had so many and I collected this list and I was so excited. <laughs> um, also, I'm used to TikTok. Like everything is so fast and on the go that I feel that I had to do it this way. But let me know if you like this format, if watching the video helps, if watching the Pinterest board also helps. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. And I can put up this list. I can, oh yes, I'm gonna put it up in the Instagram for Late Night with Sarah Pod. So you can see all of the trends in one place as well. I'm gonna make it like a carousel post and maybe a reel. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what comes up out of it. Um, but most of the trends kind of like connect to each other, you know? And just overall, I love, fashion i love just looking at what is gonna be trendy because it really helps me to recreate outfits not only obviously in a trendy way but in just in a fun way something that i haven't tried before so for example i i mentioned it so many times i love a mini skirt i love dresses that's that's my thing and for winter and fall usually you don't wear that but now knowing that mini skirts and just something mini is going to be trendy, I can wear it with a big sweater and a boot and maybe a pop of color and texture, pop of color on the purse and texture on the jacket. I have all of the trends in one outfit. Is that too much? Maybe. Do I care? No. <laughs> Am I going to get something new for this? No. I'm just reusing everything that I have and just connecting it and putting it together in a so much different way that I would last year. 
and it's still the same clothes, you know? So I think that being creative like that makes it so much fun, makes you look forward to the next season. At least for me, I definitely get seasonal depression really bad when I was in North Carolina and the sun would go down at 3 p.m. I was like, I need vitamin D. I need the sun. I need to get out of my house and do something with my life <laughs> because I used to work a lot until very late and I wouldn't see the sun and that's not good for you. Please go out and see the sun at least once a day. It's very much needed. And with winter coming up, as much fun as all of these outfits are, if you are getting in a bad mental space, it's gonna be difficult to get up and put on a cute outfit, you know? And the world needs to see your cute outfits. So they can feel inspired as well. I may be making it lighthearted, but it is true. It is true. You don't know what people are going through. And if wearing a cute outfit makes you feel better, I feel that you should definitely do that. If going to a cute coffee shop to work makes you feel better, save up the money to go, I don't know, every two weeks or something. It will make you look forward to that day and have a nice moment. And yeah. Those are little nuggets for the winter time. Yay, yay. Let's see how this winter goes for me, if I get depressed or not. You guys will definitely see it now that I'm doing this podcast because, you know, I'm an hour in here with you, so going to notice that. The last thing I wanted to touch on, how to dress with for hot winter versus cold winter. I have a couple tips. As I mentioned, I lived in a place that got a snow, North Carolina, and I've been to New York. Not during the winter. I will never do that. I went to Chicago as well. Not during the winter. I will never do that. But I used to live in my home country in a mountain. And I'm not saying in a mountainy city. I'm saying in a little mountain. <laughs> and we had really, really cold weather all year round. Like, it was so sad. I really like the hot weather, <laughs> but for my cold winter girlies, let me teach you a couple of things really quick before we go. Wear the heaters under your outfit. You need it. You need it. It's not even expensive. At Costco, they sell like the heater tops for like $20 and then the heated leggings. They are a lifesaver. You can put it under anything and everything. If you're wearing a dress and you put on the heated top, you're gonna be so much happier with yourself. If you're wearing a mini skirt and you are gonna wear like the fussy leggings that look like skin, but they kind of look like tight, you're gonna be so much happier because you're gonna be warm, but they still look good. Um, so get those. Also, cover your ears, cover your head, cover your extremities because that's where the cold comes from. So if your head, hands, and feet are warm, oh, my light went out. <laughs> Oopsie. Um, you're gonna be you're gonna be warm as well. Also, another item, I would say definitely get good quality jackets. I would argue on the sweaters because meh, I don't know if sweaters do that much. And if you live in a cold place and you have a good quality jacket, when you go out, you can wear your jacket and be warm, but when you get in, you can take it off in the heat of the place and be happy, you know, without that many layers. So I feel that definitely invest in a good jacket. And that doesn't mean get an expensive jacket. That means go and do your research and find a good quality jacket. Even if it's thrifted or if you have the means to shop it online, do that because Believe me, you're going to thank me once you have your statement jacket. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are a couple of tips for a cold winter girly. But for a hot winter girly, we have it a little bit easier in a way. I love fashion. How many times am I going to say that? I do not know. But I cannot participate to winter fashion if it's hot outside. So what I do is that I will wear light sweaters super super light like honestly low-key bad quality sweaters will do it for me 
because they're not gonna keep me warm i don't need the warm i just need to feel cozy to feel the winter vibes and how am i gonna feel that if i'm wearing a crop top outside Mm-mm. no 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 so mini skirt affordable cheap <laughs> may sweater um and definitely do not cover your extremities because you will overheat definitely you can wear a beanie if you want to but i don't know i warn you it's gonna make you there you go it's gonna make you very warm so don't wear a beanie unless you want to but i'm saying not to anyways <laughs> that's my cute my cute uh little tips for a hot no not a hot well yeah actually a warm girl winter you know like a hot girl summer it's gonna be a hot girl winter because we need to stay warm and happy okay okay well i want to see you next sunday for the next episode that was it for today let me know how you like all of these trends what are you gonna be wearing how is your winter look like and let me know if you have any questions if you need more tips on how to dress for winter and why you want to listen on this podcast it has been a great reception so far so please let me know what you want to see next where you want to listen because it would be amazing if i can do a live show one day so yeah let me know all of the things and any other things and i'll see you next sunday Remember to rate the podcast, follow us on Instagram, Late Night with Sarah Pod, or follow me for Fashion Inspo if you want to see how I style all of these winter trends this year at Late Night with Sarah. And yeah, I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye-bye.